What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the Burger Motorsport cowl filters that I have on my car. I've noticed a slight problem with these cowl filters, and that problem really hasn't been discussed over YouTube or anything, so I'm gonna make this video to inform you guys of the common issue with the cowl filters, and I'm gonna try to find a way to fix that, that issue. All right guys, so right now we're under the hood of my car. The cowl filters are right here. And the cowl filters replaced all the plastic that was across the um, rear of the engine. So I was just thinking, when it rains and everything, the water comes down from the windshield and comes down right into the engine bay. And that's not really safe. The engine has a hood for a reason to close off the water and everything from getting into it. But I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by the water going into the engine bay. I'm gonna spray some water up on the windshield to resemble rain and you'll see the water. It comes down this groove here, and down this groove here, and it goes right into the engine bay, which really isn't safe. You shouldn't be having water constantly coming into your engine bay if it rains or anything. So I'm gonna spray some water on here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. The water's gonna come down the windshield and into the engine bay. Alright guys, I didn't spray a lot of water, but as you saw, the water was coming through the wipers and down from here, here, and then over there. This weather strip really isn't stopping any water from coming down. The water still is coming down into the engine bay. One second guys, we got a hot boy coming. All right guys, so I'm back, and I thought of multiple ways and tried multiple ways to do it, and this is the best solution I found, is just to put this the plastic piece back in, the bottom one, right here. I threw that guy back in because it has the, like the channels along here that guide the water out of the car. Instead of it just coming, instead of the water coming straight down into the engine bay, it here creates a path for the water to get out of the car and it's just two screws we have the one right back here and then we have the other guy right here and they're both the eight millimeter sockets so I just threw it the plastic piece all the way back across and fastened it with the two screws and now the water isn't going down into the engine bay it's going out and along the side here into the gutter area. I'll show you guys how it works now with the plastic piece back on. It's a lot nicer. All right, so there you saw the water came from here, but also the one that used to go into the engine bay from over there, it came down this way with the water and came in through here. So that's the way I solved the problem. I'm sure there's more ways to do it, but this is the way I did it. Now I'm just gonna share with you guys because no one really, I don't say calls out the filters, but no one really like says what the bad side of these filters are. So people just like to revert back to stock and don't say why, but I'm gonna keep the filters in, but I just threw this plastic piece back in to stop the water from going right down into the engine bay. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, I installed the plastic piece back across and I also put the caps back in on the passenger side and driver side. But the plastic piece here is going to stop the water from going straight down into the engine. It's gonna channel it back off to the sides where it's supposed to be. So the cowl filters are still in. I just put the stock, the bottom piece back in, and that's it. So if I ever need to take it off, I just take the two eight millimeter screws and pull this guy off. Everything else, the stock parts are out. I just put this guy back in with the cowl filters to stop the water. And if you guys have any questions about this setup or anything other, leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.